Today we will introduce again KME's English Display Interface. First of all, there's a little lock on the top. Small lock logo. It means key lock. We can lock the button by long pressing the OK button. After locking, the button can no longer be pressed at will. Avoid misoperation. Then we can press and hold the OK button to unlock. And here's what we see. It represents a local time. You can use the internet mobile app. Obtain the mobile app after remote networking. It can be obtained by connecting to the mobile app. And then we see to his right. There is a Bluetooth icon. Followed by an icon for a local area network. And the last thing that comes up is this remote networking icon. Look down. The yellow font indicates the current battery voltage. The green font indicates the operating current of the current discharge. The blue font indicates that it is currently discharging. It shows the discharge current. It turns green when charged. And when it discharges, this position will show that it is on. This shows discharge. There is a minus sign. Indicates that it is discharging. When switching to charging, we see the font on the second line change to green. There is an English icon of CH on it. It means it is charging. And there's a plus sign. And the battery icon turns green. OK, let's look at the purple font again. The purple font indicates the current power. The following value represents. When charging, it indicates the time remaining to fully charge. When discharging, it shows the remaining time of discharge. And this is what's shown here. The remaining power of the current battery. Then take a look at the function of the button. Press set. You can enter the settings menu later. Click set again to turn the page. Click set again. Go back to the settings main interface. Press the OK button to view the information of the current machine, including model number, version number, serial number, and a pattern of connectivity, and the network IP. Good display of the main interface. So that's the description. Next, let's talk about the settings of the operation. What about the settings of the operation? We first click set. Find the first function. We enter the current function by pressing the OK button. After entering, we can switch languages by pressing the up and down buttons. After selecting English, press OK to confirm. We'll bounce to a setting that bounces to the second time zone. Also switch the time zone by pressing the up and down keys. We are down the time zone. Select press OK, down the time zone. The second function, network rest, network reset. After pressing OK, pop up window. Press the up and down keys to select yes or no. Press OK and select yes. Network reset will be enabled. After enabling network reset, when the original network connection ends, need to reconnect to the network. Open the June Home app. Click on all devices. 
Click on the Coulomb meter category. Click on the KMF model. Enter the Bluetooth interface and click on Bluetooth connection. Find the corresponding Bluetooth model KMF XXXXXX. Click and confirm to configure the network. During the configuration process, enter the Wi-Fi name and password. Waiting for network configuration to succeed. After success, the app will prompt to reconnect. Click on the link in the upper right corner. Choose Wi-Fi remote connection method. Click on the device model KMFXXXXXX again to connect. After successful connection, the Coulomb meter will display parameter information and display the remote connection symbol, indicating a successful remote connection. Okay, then we will introduce the third function. Press the key to move to the third function. Set time report system restart. After pressing OK, you will see the system restart. When this function is applied to the system card machine, then after the system reboots, you need to wait about 10 seconds. The network connection will be re-completed. Good network connection successful. We proceed to introduce the fourth function, battery. Set the battery capacity percentage. We can press the up and down buttons. To set the capacity, under normal circumstances, it is when fully charged. Set the battery capacity to 100%. Complete the initialization settings. Then press OK to confirm. Fifth function battery cap capacity. Then we still press the OK button to enter. Move the cursor by short pressing the OK button. Press the up and down buttons to increase or decrease the value. Rock confirm set capacity value. Press the key to move to the lose function. OK enter. We can choose low volume reminders. It can be determined by pressing the up and down keys. Press the OK key to determine the value of the low volume reminder. Then jump to the low voltage reminder. Also press the up and down buttons. Increase or decrease the value. Press the OK button to confirm. Complete the setting of the alarm function. Then we talk about the seventh function. Choice of color scheme. Press the OK button and then press the up and down buttons. You can choose between light and drag. We choose the light. We see that the interface shows a white bottom at this time. This interface is great for viewing data in bright light. OK, let's press. Then select the 8th function display. Press the OK button to enter the current function. You can press the up and down buttons. Reduce the brightness of the screen or press the up button to increase the brightness of the screen. After pressing the OK button to confirm, go to the next function settings for screen rest time. When this function is off, the screen is always on. Press the button to switch for 10 seconds, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, 60 seconds. He said the screen will be in 10 or 60 seconds. Automatically turn off the screen. Press the button up again. It has the bump function. It is a setting that automatically turns off the screen. It is defined as when charging. The screen will automatically turn off the screen. Small currents also extinguish the screen during discharge. Okay, 
press the OK button to confirm. Then we press the key to enter the nice function, password function setting. Press the OK button to enter. We can short press OK button to move the cursor. Press up and down buttons. Increase or decrease the value to change the password. After completing the password setting, press OK to exit. Next, we choose the tense function factory rest. Press the OK button to enter this function. Press the up and down buttons to select yes or no. One way chest, one way chest, yes. Rear machine will rest. OK, we finished the last video.